Hello, in this section of the TI-84 tutorial we're going to explore two functions that can come in handy at times uh, in this, uh, for this calculator and those are the functions to take the uh, numerical derivative or the uh, numerical integral. So basically taking a derivative or an integral um, using your calculator. Now those are two um, topics that you learn about in great detail when you study calculus. If uh, you're watching this video and you've never studied calculus and you have no idea what a derivative or an integral is, then you can just skip this section and go right on to the next one. Uh, it's not going to impede you know, your, your learning on anything coming up. So, But if you are taking calculus and you do have this calculator, or if maybe you're just uh, a little bit curious what a derivative and an integral is, then, then go ahead and keep watching it. It, it can never hurt. So basically... Uh, this calculator is is a, a midline calculator for calculus uh, for the TI uh, series. It is not intended to do a heavy duty calculus, but they do provide two functions in here to do some basic stuff. So let's go down in the math menu, just past the fmin and fmax functions that we just studied, and you'll get to these two functions: numerical derivative. That's what the n means, and uh, the n in here is numerical integral. So what I mean by numerical is this calculator can take a function that you specify and integrate it between two numbers just like you would do a definite integral in calculus and you'll get a number back which will be you know like the area under the curve between those values of, of a and b on your integral. So it's the same thing that you'd be doing um, when you do a definite integral. So you can you can really check your work quite a bit here for that. You can also do a numerical derivative which means that at whatever point you specify it's going to calculate the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that point and you're going to get a number back it's just going to be a number like 10 or 5 or whatever and that's going to be the slope of the tangent line at that point this calculator cannot take integrals and derivatives symbolically in other words the integral of x squared is um, or the derivative let's say the derivative of x squared is uh, 2x well this calculator is not going to be able to tell you that the derivative is 2x this calculator is not going to be able to integrate x cubed and come up with one fourth x to the fourth power, which is what which is what the actual integral is. So it can't do things symbolically in terms of x, but it can calculate numerical derivatives, numerical uh, integrals. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we wanted to calculate the derivative of a function, and let's say that the function, just to make it easy, is x squared. So here's the function x squared. And we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. You're always going to basically put the same uh, independent variable that you had here in your function. So the, the function's x squared. We're doing the derivative with respect to x. Now we have to specify a number, um, a, a number on all, along x that we want to calculate this, this derivative at. So let's say x is equal to, you know, uh, 2. And let's close the parentheses. So when we calculate this, it's going to literally calculate a number. This is, you know, this is not what you would do in calculus one. Whenever you wanted to calculate the derivative, you would calculate two x, and then you would, you know, you would calculate two x would be the derivative here, and then you would plug x is equal to two in, so two two x, so two times two is four, and that's why it spits out the number of four. Um, if you want to go and and, and calculate the uh, derivative of this curve at a different point x, then you would have to specify a different point. So let's go ahead and pull up the last entry. See, it says entry here. So second function down here is going to pull up exactly what I've already typed in. I can go backwards to x is equal to 2, and I can delete that. And instead of x is equal to 2, I can put x is equal to, you know, 5. And let's close the parentheses again. So it's the same function. Uh, f of x is equal to x squared. The derivative with respect to x, and we're going to plug in x is equal to 5. And so when we do that, it's going to calculate the derivative and it's going to plug in the value x is equal to 5 and it's going to literally give you the slope of the line tangent to the curve at x is equal to 5. That's what it's doing. If you were going to do this by hand, um, the derivative of x squared is 2x, 2 times x, and we're saying x is equal to 5 here. So 2 times 5 is 10 and that's why it spits out 10. Um, now if you're going to do something a little more complicated, you can of course put more complicated uh, uh, you can put more complicated functions in there. So let's go down here to numerical derivative, and which is right here. And then we're going to go ahead and do it a little bit more complicated. Let's say we're going to do um, x raised to the third power um, minus 4x plus 5. So that's a pretty long polynomial. And we're going to say, okay, we're going to do that with respect to x. And we're going to do that at x is equal to 
let's say negative one, right? And we're gonna hit enter and the calculator is gonna come back and it's gonna spit out negative 0.99999. That's pretty darn close to negative one. So you can assume that this is kind of a round off thing. It's gonna basically be negative one. So if you were to take the derivative of this function, you would calculate the derivative like you would do by hand in calculus and then plug in x is equal to negative one, you're going to get effectively negative one is what this is, this is telling you here because it's so close to negative one. Um, it's a useful thing to do sometimes whenever you're doing a definite, uh, you wanna calculate a derivative, you wanna get a feel for what the um, the slope is doing at a specific point, but just just so you know, this calculator, and I'll say it again, it's not capable of really calculating in terms of x what the derivative is. To do that, you would have to get the TI-89 calculator, which is a little bit more powerful. Um, but it can do these nice and numerical things, which is really nice to calculate a quick and dirty, um, you know, verification that you've done your work correctly. Now, let's go on to the next thing. Right under the numerical derivative. Uh, guy in the math menu here, we have numerical integration. So let's go ahead and look at numerical integration. And it's the same kind of thing. Let's say your function was, uh, you know, f of x is equal to x squared. We're going to integrate along x, so that would be like having dx there. And in order to do an integral, you have to specify two numbers. When you're doing a definite integral, you have to specify the lower bound and the upper bound. So let's say you're going to integrate from 0 to 4, right? from zero to four and you go ahead and hit this button here and it's gonna spit out this number. Now this answer that it gave you is literally the area under the curve. If you plot y is equal to x squared and you look from x is equal to zero to x is equal to four and you would calculate the surface area under there which is what an integral does then the answer you're going to get is 21.3. So if you were to take the integral here the integral of x squared is one-third x cubed and if you would evaluate that uh, at, the, um, at the upper limit and also at the lower limit, it would give you what you see here on the screen. So there's really not that much more to that. I mean, you can, uh, you can go and pull this back up and change your function around. So let's say we wanna change our function around. So let's say uh, x squared, and let's go ahead and hit insert here so we can stick some extra stuff here. X, x squared minus, let's say sine of x. So this is a more complicated function, x squared minus the sine of x from zero to, let's just do it again, from zero to four. And it's going to pull out something really similar. So uh, you get the idea here. Basically, you can go in here, you can do some really quick and nice, nice uh, calculations of integrals and derivatives. They're not terribly powerful in that they don't tell you symbolically, you know, what the, um, what the answer is, but it's really handy for a GRE or a standardized test, or if you're just practicing your homework, and you just want to see uh, what the what the quick um, integral is just to check your work. So x to the fifth, you would go integrate over dx, and you could say, let's say, let's go from negative two to positive three. So that's a broader in, uh, interval there, negative two to positive three. Hit the hit the button there, and what it's doing internally is it's calculating the area under the curve, this curve that you've defined here, from x is equal to negative two to x is equal to three. So that's a good uh, introduction to calculating numerical integrals and differentials um, in the TI-84 calculator used to check your answers. It's a handy little feature.